folks, we're going on a day birding. So we're, first of all, we're going to try and find some hawfinch, which aren't lifers, but you don't see them much these days. Then the plan after that is to hopefully go back to that amazing bike Altil we saw in the last um, adventure video, cause we didn't get very close to it. So I really would like some better snaps of it. And from there, goodness knows, but keep with us. We'll let you know. After about a 45 minute drive, we found ourselves in a beautiful little village in the Conwy Valley. We're at the quaintest little village uh, just south of Conwy. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Lovely little churchyard. Um, we're looking for hawfinch. We've seen a few birds flying around. I just saw some finches, but I can't tell you what they were. So we're going to have a mooch up the lovely little country lane and see what we can find. Stick with us. At this point of the day, the sun was out and there was quite a lot of bird sound coming from the trees and bushes around. As we walked around the little village, we saw a few birds, including a pair of dunnock displaying to each other, some house sparrows, jackdaws, and some chaffinch. So no sign of hawfinch yet, but it's such a beautiful day and this place is beautiful. It's awesome. So we're gonna move on soon, we're just gonna admire the scenery for a little bit longer after enjoying stood in the sun which felt like the first signs of spring we decided to give up on the hawfinch and head to our next bird she's having a drink i am uh we didn't see the hawfinch but um not too much of a disappointment because this place is just absolutely gorgeous so we're heading back to the bike i'll tail now um hoping that we get better views this time of that mega, mega duck. Keep with us. When we arrived, there weren't any other birders there, which we thought was quite weird. We looked out on the estuary, the tide was out. There were some waders, including this oyster catcher. There was also a very surprising amount of Brent geese out on the estuary. This is one of my favourite species of geese, so I'm always happy to see them. But... We didn't see any sign of the Baikal tail. We looked around some of the farm ponds nearby, one especially that this bird had been frequenting. All we saw was common tail and a few cows around the field. After searching the area for a while, we didn't see it. We did spot another couple of birders eventually who also hadn't seen it. So we decided to head back down the coast towards RSPB Conway. Hi folks, we are here at RSPB Conway. Conway. We weren't looking for anything specific here, but we thought we'd just have a mooch around because it had been a while since we'd been there. Over the winter, this reserve is home to quite a few ducks and waders, although some of those ducks and waders appear to have left. We had a look around to see what we could see. We were initially greeted by a foraging magpie, and a few Canada geese in front of the cafe. We took a walk further into the reserve as it was quite busy near the playground. How are we doing? Enjoying Conway. We've just seen quite a lot of the normal stuff, some tufted ducks, some small birds, uh, including chiff chaffs and robins and such. Um, there's some lovely hides where you can look out onto the two bigger bits of water here. Um, and we're just about to walk past a little pond there where in years back there's been fire crest although none have been seen today at this point we'd like to invite you to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy it please press the bell so you get notifications of our future videos back to the birding when we got to some of the hides and looked out there were a few ducks remaining including this beautiful teal that was close in. Further out, there were a pair of gadwall, and there was the ever present tufted duck. After a bit of scanning round, a little bit further out, we saw this male potchard in the water preening. A few other birds that were around were these herring gull that were splashing about bathing. And further around the pool, there were a few black-headed gulls, some already in summer plumage. 
On the grass in between the two pools, I picked out this beautiful lapwing that was walking around and feeding in the grass. These birds are common here in the UK, but they are very pretty nevertheless. At this point, we headed back to the car, spotting this black bird and under some feeders, this Dunnerkin house sparrow. But we got back on the road and headed for the coast to do a short amount of sea watching. We went to our favourite local sea watching space at Llandullis. There were quite a few scoters on the water, not as close as last time, but you could see them pretty well. There were some other birds as well. I picked out a red-throated diver, but it was a bit too far out, and this lovely great crested grebe. We then went back to the car, decided to move on. Yeah, hello folks. It's not been the best day. Um, we've not seen anything we've gone to see yet. Anyway, we've headed to Gronant. Um, which is a lovely beach and lovely walk over the dunes. We've not got long here. I've heard there's potentially a snow bunting and potentially twite here. Goodness knows if we'll find them with this short time, but we're going to have a look anyway. We have a swan type scenario. This swan was blocking our path. Um, we got it, it's only a youngster. We got it to move on up there, but it wasn't very happy with me at all. It was hissing at me and all sorts. So we got Kaylee moving on. So hopefully it won't block our path when we get back. Leaving the aggressive young swan behind, we took a walk over the sand dunes on the boardwalk. This is always a beautiful walk. When we got to the beach, the clouds were coming over, it looked like it might start to rain, and it was pretty breezy. But we took a walk along the beach. Some of the birds present here were some absolutely lovely ring plover, and some were quite confiding. They let me get reasonably close. Unfortunately, no snow bunting or twites. These are birds that have been reported here, but we did see some lovely skylark and linnet. With the ever blackening clouds, we headed back along the beach towards our car. Hey, so at Agronom, we didn't find twite or the snow bunting, but there was loads of skylarks and linnets and lovely ring plovers, and Kaylee's collected a load of shells, which she's happy with. So, anyway, we're going to get home. Although today we didn't get some of the species we expected, we did get some cool ones. We thought we'd include a little trip we did a few weeks ago because we'd not put it in any of our videos. This trip was to Aqualate Park in Staffordshire. We went there to see a ferruginous duck, a female bird, and we found it reasonably quick. This bird was a lifer. Although this was cool, the star of the show wasn't this bird but it was a kingfisher that was being super confiding. It was fishing right in front of the hide. It was a real privilege to see. That wasn't all. We got a glimpse of a water rail. No photos, I'm afraid. And there was also a great spotted woodpecker that was flying almost right up to the hide to feed on a tree. This place is really good. If you ever get to go there, we really recommend it. Now we can end the video. See you next time. Please like. Please, please comment. Please, please subscribe. Please subscribe. And also press the bell for notifications. See you soon.